Well, this is a lumbar spine. We're looking from the side, and we can see these vertebral bodies of the lumbar spine. There's five of them all together. Here's the top lumbar, and here's the bottom lumbar. And each one of these vertebral bodies is separated from the other by an intervertebral disc. So there's one between L1 and L2, between L2 and L3, and, and then, wait a minute, between L3 and L4, there's no disc. Where'd it go? So this is a congenital fusion anomaly between the vertebral bodies. They're just fused together. The patient does not have a disc. And when that happens, you get abnormal wear and tear. Since this is a block, there's abnormal stress on the adjacent ones. So you can see right here, this inferior end plate of L4 is jagged and irregular. So it has wear and tear. It's getting a little bit of arthritis. This little round ball is just a benign little bone lesion called a hemangioma, no big deal. And we can see this from another perspective here. On this view, we can see that the vertebral bodies are fused. And behind here, we see the spinal canal filled with fluid. And you can see each one of these individual nerve roots flowing through there. So again, this is a congenital fusion of the vertebral bodies. Not terribly common, but not um, uncommon either. And then some arthritic changes of the end plate here. And also, they also have some arthritis in the back here of the facet joints, again, from abnormal mechanics of stress from this fused block. So that's it. Thank you very much.